Psalm 139, verses 13 through 18. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You find that statement in Psalm 139, verse 14. He's talking about the miracle of conception and birth. Oh, it's an amazing story. Thou hast possessed my inward parts. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. He says, when I was intricately woven in my mother's womb, you saw my substance yet unformed. In your book all of my days were written. Oh, how precious all of this is to me. What should be our response to the miracle of human birth? What is a baby? Someone defined a baby as something that gets you up at night and gets you down in the daytime. That, that may be true. I think it was Carl Sandburg, the poet, who said that a baby is God's opinion that the world should go on. When you contemplate human birth, our first response ought to be reverence. Reverence, worshiping God. The God of the galaxies is the God who is concerned about the color of a baby's hair, the genetic structure of a yet unborn baby. Oh, how we ought to bow in reverence before God and worship him, that each individual child is a part of his handiwork. We don't understand why some children are born handicapped, exceptional in some areas. God knows reverence. What a tragedy it is that we interrupt this miracle with this awful thing called abortion. Confidence. I want to trust God. I want to be confident in Him. Why? He made me as I am. Instead of going around complaining about what I am not, let me gratefully accept from God what I am. He made me as I am. He knew all about me before I was born. Obedience. Let me take what God has given to me and use it for His glory. Instead of searching for something I cannot have, let me invest what I do have to serve Him. Oh, how precious are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! I will praise thee! I am fearfully and wonderfully made.